So you can see here, it's noticeably very blurry, especially in these wispy hair areas. If we hit Control Z, you can see that my original uh, image had a lot more uh, stroke quality, brush quality. Hi, so today I wanted to record a quick video about texture atlases in Live 2D Cubism. So in Live 2D Cubism, uh, all your model parts have to be in a texture atlas. To be able to put them in a texture atlas first, you have to give them meshes. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, use the auto mesh to add a mesh to all of our uh, parts. So you will need to generate a mesh for every single part of your model that, e that you want to show up on screen. Even if that part isn't animated, you will still need to add a mesh to it. So this automatic mesh generator is pretty useful to get that done quickly. So first tip I'm going to give is that if you have any sort of background element like this that isn't necessary for your final uh, piece, whether it be like a live 2D model or a moving artwork, go ahead and just delete that. That's because it'll take up a lot of space in the texture atlas while not actually being necessary to include. So how you add something to the texture atlas is you can either hit Control plus T, or you can go up to this tab, Modeling Texture, and then Edit Texture Atlas. So let me describe this the problem here. Especially if you're using the free version of Live 2D Cubism, if you hit Control T, uh, they tell you the free version, the max number of texture, or the max resolution of your texture atlas is 2048. So we'll say, OK, yeah, I know this. So you can't select anything higher than 2048, it'll give you an error. But go ahead and for width and height, select 2048 for the maximum amount of texture size. And then we'll just give it a name. So if you're lazy like me, you usually like to say, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead and automatically lay it out for me. Hit OK. And it's automatically laid it out the texture for you like this. You're like, okay, sure, whenever, that's fine. Hit OK, and then let it load. And, oh no, what happened to my uh, model? So I'm going to give you a, a look at the difference. So you can see here, it's noticeably very blurry, especially in these wispy hair areas. If we hit Control Z, you can see that my original uh, image had a lot more uh, stroke quality, brush quality, and so if you go forward, after we added it to the texture atlas, the resolution has been downscaled by a lot. Now one solution to this problem would be to just buy Live 2D Cubism. There they won't limit you on your res texture resolution, but if you're like me and not willing to <laughs> pay the subscription. This is where you can uh, put in the extra effort. So once again, we're going to hit Control T. Or uh, since I hit Control Z, I actually unloaded the texture atlas. So if you go to modeling, texture, edit texture atlas, we're going to go ahead and say texture atlas one, give it to 2048, 2048. And then default layer layout can be displayed model images. So automatically, so if we hit automatically layout again, you can see that this is how they've chosen to automatically lay out our texture uh, textures in the texture atlas. And you can see that there's like a lot of wasted space, a lot of white space, especially since I have one large piece over here that they're not willing, that they've uh, left a lot of white space here because it's like even though it's in one piece there's a lot of white space there. So for this, uh, we're going to start manually placing them. So grab each texture and so for each texture, you're going to go ahead and you're going to figure 
I want this to be larger. Yeah, like this. There we go. Don't want to block that over here. So for each piece, you can resize it. You can rotate it. Again, the larger size, the better. You can check what the scale it is compared to um, the full size up here. So scale percent on this bun piece is 73%. The closer to 100%, the better. There's no point in going over 100% though. And so I'm going to start re-layouting my texture atlas with paying attention to some pieces I'm okay with being downscaled more. Like these candy pieces, I'm okay with them being scaled only to about 65%. But this eyelash piece, ideally I would want that to be scaled as large as possible. Or as close to 100% as possible. So at 199% there's... or not 109%, so that's 72%. Yeah, so let's get this close to 100%. Again, there's no point in going larger than Okay, there we go. So this is my improved texture atlas. I've gone in and rescaled, rotated, and translated a bunch of the pieces so that then I can be a lot more space efficient and have each texture be uh, as large as I could make it. If I spent more time, I could definitely fill in a lot more of these white spaces and be more efficient. Uh, so like here, here, um, and also there's actually secretly a very large white space over here. That's not apparent due to the meshes, but it's good enough for me for now, uh, especially for these tutorial purposes. So let's hit OK. And let's check out our rescaled uh, model. So you see, uh, if you hit T, you can switch between the textures from the texture at atlas and your original model images. So if I hit T, this is the original model image. And this is the image with the texture atlas. I see that I've like made a bit of a mistake where I accidentally uh, added some other model's <laughs> texture down here. So that's what you have to be careful about when mod manually placing your models or textures. But you can see that uh, the quality of the brush strokes is preserved far more than it would be if I were to let the program place the textures automatically. So hitting T, you can see overall, when looking at it from a distance, other than this part and a couple other parts over here, um, generally the model's quality is actually not affected that much. So yeah, uh, happy life 2Ding! <laughs>